Okay, and I'm back. Um, you know, it's a little shame that I didn't record my sim playthrough because I actually was pretty clever with those names. I'm not very. No, I don't even remember what we call our company, but I'm not impressed with what I did. But, anyways, um, here we go. So, uh, hey, uh, I just finished Kiss Ass and I loved it. I am going to offer you some contracting business. So, basically, what we can do is contracting jobs to uh, pay the rent. Um, it doesn't make much, but it's a good opportunity just kind of to do stuff in your downtime, or if you just need a couple more research points instead of banging out a new game, uh, you can do uh, some consulting, and it'll throw in some research. Okay, romance and action is a terrible combination, so that's why our score is so low. Uh, gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Um, genre match, action, G64, good. Not excellent, but good. Okay, good. We learned some stuff. So, let's research... Mm, I wonder if I should be saving these research points, but man, I thought romance action. Oh, hunting and action is gonna be awesome. Um, so you know what? Let's do that. Uh, we can be the uh, the deer hunter uh, company if we want. Ooh, and Ventus out. Now I don't think I have enough uh, for the license. Um, and develop the game. Oh, maybe it won't be too much. I really haven't been paying close attention to how much it's costing me to develop these games. I don't know, should we stick with um, G64 or should we be like the Ninvento company? Um, I don't know, you know, I have such a soft spot for early Nintendo games, especially. Um, after the 64, I pretty much became a, or not the 64, after the uh, SNES, the SNES, I became pretty much just a computer gamer. Um... Okay, so we research hunting. Let's develop a new game. We can kind of we can look at what our options are. So let's pick topic first, so we know for sure. Let's stick with action until we at least figure out. Okay, so licensing is eighty thousand. It's just for the console. So every game doesn't cost eighty thousand. It's just the first um, first time to get that license. Eighty grand, huh? You really want to build up the cash to get out of your basement. But you know what? Just for fun. I didn't really do much of this before. Let's become kind of a console company. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do an action hunting game on the original Nintendo. Parents are going to freak out. Um, but we're going to call this... Um, let's see. We're going to be shotgun... Um, you know what? No, let's do... Let's put hunting in the name. Hunting... Um, Hunting, hunting game number one, because we aren't clever. Um, and actually, if you think a long time, I'm trying to create a game name. That's actually one of the achievements, and I got it legitimately and laughed when that came across. But I uh, know you know what? That's pretty bad. Let's just do hunting game, because that's what early Nintendo games were like. They're like, hey, you know, we're gonna sell this with the name, um, and people need to know what it is. So this is. Hey, it's that hunting game for the Nintendo. I mean, we need 2D graphics for hunting. Uh, basically, it's going to look like hunting in uh, Oregon Trail. Um, but, yeah. Gameplay engine, you know, I really think... You know, see, it's saying that it was a good, but not great. So, let's focus on the engine. We really do need to create our own engine. Uh, which I don't really think matters. Uh this point but it's definitely important we're gonna scratch our head and think uh kiss ass is still selling which is good okay it's off the market and we made over a hundred thousand okay I'm gonna design artificial intelligence I'm gonna keep that we don't need great artificial intelligence for this uh, we won't have deers hanging around or exploding barrels or anything. Uh, graphics, very important. Sounds not that important. We don't have any other options anyways. And we won't until we make an engine. Okay, let's bang out those bugs. Take a drink of water while he does that. You know, I actually talk to myself a lot, just in general. Um, but my mouth doesn't seem to be as dry when I'm not talking to the microphone. Okay, we're just going to finish. 10 and 11 is a new record? No? Okay. 
But new topic, new combo, bonuses. Not bad. We leveled up engine, artificial intelligence, graphic sound, and Drake Huffington. Uh, what a horrible name. Um, level up, and I apologize if anyone out there has first name Drake or the last name Huffington. We're gonna publish our game. And the reviews have come in. Okay. Middle scores. And they always pop up that 10 and that 1. You never really know until about halfway in. Could have been better, but we're showing potential. Graphics is important. Nice experience. Thank you, all games. Okay, so let's do that game report. And we're hurting for cash because we did that game engine, or that game engine, um, game license. Hunting action is a great combination. Sound is quite important, so our sound probably wasn't high enough. You want to hear those deer scream or whatever we're shooting. Okay, and we can't really afford to just sit around much. I was just develop a new game right away. Uh, we're gonna do something new again because we want those bonuses. Uh, we got we did martial arts, we did sports, we did hunting, a uh, zombie shooter. Too bad it's not two uh, thousands because zombies are huge. And I actually don't really care for the zombie genre that much. But let's the action. We're going to develop for the TS as long as we can because we we paid. Um, that deal we paid our licensing. So, zombie shooter. Uh, we're gonna say, oh man, I really am just not gonna be creative with the game names. I apologize, uh, Greenheart Gaming, for saying that you're not very uh, good with naming stuff. But then again, you had lots of time. And I'm trying to do this off the top of my head while I'm recording. So, um, uh, let's just not be very popular at all. Uh, are very uh, clever at all. We're gonna call it Day Z because our guy probably is British. He's gonna pronounce Z as Z. Uh, Day Z action because it's an action game and exclamation points sell. And let's just pop out a bunch of shovelware for the NES. Um, of course, they had that little uh, guarantee of quality on those NES games. The stamp, the the seal. Which was awesome. Always knew you were getting quality. Um, I think that's right. I'm gonna stick with that. And we're not getting a whole lot of insight, though. We did get that sound insight. Oh wow, massive success! I'm glad we developed for it originally. So the numbers exceed expectations by far. And if you did live through these uh, these years, then you know none of this is gonna be a surprise to you. Um, yeah, controller is much better than a keyboard. I disagree. Actually, I love keyboards for controlling stuff. Um, mouse keyboard, is the best. Yeah. So sounds pretty important. Our bleeps and bloops, because all we have is basic sound. Uh, you know, I love the original Nintendo controller, the SNES controller. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of analog sticks. I guess that's just that. I want my buttons to be on or off. Oh, a little bug at the end and let it finish. Okay, we sold 20,000 and we're doing better with each game. I think. So that's good. I like to just throw in that little extra bug at the end. I'd like to wait. Um, life lesson there. Don't, don't mess with something when you're done with it. Don't try to add new stuff at the end. Alright, we're up in all the stuff we didn't really focus on. Drake. And we released it. So, if I remember correctly, we have to get up to a million cash before we can move out of our basement. We probably should be developing Nintendo games in a basement. Wow, we still aren't doing too well. Let's see if our game report does better. Ah, and this stuff takes forever. 6.5, okay. Game report. And you can click here and you can look at your previous games and how they did. So let's see, Kiss Ass, um, top sales rank, we didn't break 100. Whips came in at 23. Karateka came in at 66. Hunting Game came in at 33. Or whatever that said, 30 something. Um, 
so good. Lots of research points. Maybe we can make our own engine now. We probably should. Engine's very important. Hmm. Engine might be more important than gameplay. Or whatever the other option was. Okay, so let's um, research custom game engine. Oh, yeah, we haven't even researched it yet, let alone create one. It takes time and effort to create your game engine as well. But hey, we got money coming in. Which is good. Dang, that's doing alright. More specialized games, more. Okay, so this is going to give us the option to uh, develop for specific age groups, which is a good idea and really needs to be done. Um, probably, especially for uh, the consoles. I think we really need to market uh, towards younger kids, probably, especially in the beginning, when there really weren't mature games anyways. But that's an option. You've got young, everyone, and mature. And uh, with hunting games and stuff like that, you really do want them to be focused on mature uh, gamers. Okay, so we've got mono sound available and game tutorials, which I'm not a big fan of. I would rather pour over a manual for hours. I used to take them to school with me and read it uh, during in class because back in the day, manuals were really awesome. Okay, we really need to research some mono sound for our engine. And probably, sorry about the sounds, that probably doesn't sound great to you. We got some money in the back, we can keep doing this. Yep, they're gonna help our defense a lot. You know that. Probably start thinking of names for our engine. So I guess I really stopped playing action games too. I always played those as a kid. Um, so it's harder for me to be clever with names. Ooh, Venna. The Sega um, clone. We research mono sound. Awesome. Yeah, we really should. Okay, and what other research do we have? Game tutorials, you know, I'm not going to put it in our first engine. Um, games in this era really just need to be developed uh, properly. Um, they shouldn't need a tutorial. Let's create our engine. Okay. 2D graphics, linear story, ah, that's pretty expensive. And we're not going to have story in our games. Save game, yeah, you got to have save in your games. Boy, did I love that. Uh, this game does not work well with clicking sometimes. Oh, we'll just do that. Uh, maybe it's because I'm running in a window. Um, okay, our new engine. Um, what are we going to name our engine? We're going to be making mostly action games. Um, and we're going to call it the... And we're going to... Apparently we're going to make really gruesome... The Blued Engine. Um... Blood engine might have to reverse acronym this. Uh, wow, blood really doesn't look like it's spelled that way when there's uh, <laughs> periods in between. That is how you spell blood, right? I'm not just completely uh, losing my mind. Okay, we'll do that. Um, maybe we should try to figure out what this acronym stands for. Uh, brutal. Um, Brutal. We were limited something, right? Oh man, those O's are going to be hard. Brutal. Limited. Oh wow. Game engines cannot be very long. You know what? Sorry guys, it's taking forever. We'll just do blood. Create engine. And it takes 55 points to create our own engine. And we get research points while we're doing this too, which is good. And actually, it's a good way to get some research points uh, later on. And you really want to be developing game gen engines frequently. Um, it's something I really haven't done a lot because I kind of want the next engine to be great and have all this new stuff. Um, it hasn't unlocked yet. Um, but I think it's best to be doing that, especially when we start doing sequels. Um, they really like it when you develop a sequel to a game with an engine. So it might not be a bad idea just to shoot out an engine every now and then, especially when money's not a problem. Um, and just pump out a lot of sequels because we know that works in the gaming uh, industry. So let's develop a new game with our engine. We got to pick a new thing. We're gonna do post-apocalyptic. 
Uh, game, I had work with action, platform, I'm gonna stick with the Nintendo, Nintendo, sorry. Use the Blood Engine, post apocalyptic, and it's going to be uh, Atomic Blood, named after our engine. Um, ooh, T Graphics version 2. Did we put that in our engine? Maybe that was already, yeah, an option. You have to. You have to uh, research later um, graphics, and you can't use them until you put them in your engine. The Vena is definitely going to be releasing soon. And I was a Nintendo kid, never had a Sega. So, okay, we're going to throw our save game in. It's going to cost us five grand, and we're going to rerun well on cash real quick. And it's okay if you go under. Uh, you can go, I think, 200,000 under, and I'm sure we'll do that, and the pop will come up and tell us that we've done that. Oh, man. Um, I still think level design is more important than artificial intelligence. Uh, but yeah, you can go under, um, and it's not a big deal until you get more than 200,000 under, and then you're in trouble. Wow, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. There was something I was supposed to do better, and we're going to this is going to be good. Hopefully it's going to cover development costs, because we are going to go in the red before this releases. Weeks and months seem to go fast, I think, at the beginning. Oh, no. Finish. Okay. And yeah, we're in the red. New records! Yes. You top new combo bonus. Sorry, the S sounds probably don't sound great. Either. I have a really not very good microphone. I took a lot of fiddling just to get the background hiss out. Um, okay, let's release Atomic Blood for the NES. Okay, and we shouldn't be wasting time. Let's generate a game. Oh, that's right. Usually I have to wait until that. Oh, higher score is nice. Oh, get up there. Sometimes you can click it in before your reviews come. Not bad. Not very good. Engine was important. Did we bump the engine up? I meant to. That might have been the thing I missed. Okay. So blood is on the market. Atomic blood. And we'll see how it sells. And the not Sega has been released. Ooh, it's not even going to use the pop-up because we didn't go that much under. Wow, look at these sales. Very nice. That's what happens when you develop a slightly good game. Post-apocalyptic and action is great. I really don't remember any of those from the NES, so we're uh, we're a trailblazer. Story quest not important. Dialogue is not at all important. And genre match action and TS is just okay. Wow. I've played a lot of action games. Mega Man. Mario, I'd even call action. It's platforming, but they don't have that option. Oh, and we're just killing time watching the money come. We don't want to do that. We want to develop a new game. Actually, you know, we're going to research. Um, should we do the target audience? Let's try it. Let's try targeting our audience on the Nintendo. And, yeah. Wasn't a Sega guy. It was definitely a Nintendo guy. Um, never really got Sonic. I know that's kind of blasphemous, but it just seemed to be run really fast until you ran into something and stopped, or ran into something and lost your coins. Um, but yeah, so we researched target audience. We can use that on our next game, and we are going to develop a new game. Yep. You know, for the platform, Young is good, but I don't know if it's going to be good for action games. Still, it might depend on our subject. So, mystery action is going to be horrible, but it might be fun just to do. And we've done everything else. Oh, man. Okay, so, unfortunately, I want to keep getting the benefits of new stuff. So, we are going to research a new topic. Wild West action. I love that. Big fan of westerns. Um, maybe we'll make uh, the first Wild West action game. Play Gumshoe on the original Nintendo. I don't know if anyone ever played that. That was an interesting game. I'd love to get out one of my old CRTs 
and play that game again because it was so hard, especially as a kid. Basically, you move the guy around on the screen by shooting him with a light gun. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I ever got past the first level. Uh, okay, so we sold almost 40,000 units, generated, wow, over a quarter million in sales, which is quite good. We research Wild West. So we're going to develop a new game. Uh, probably the last one for this recording because I'm over. You know what? I'm going to leave the recording right here, put a cut in, and be back in a sec. See you guys.